Today, boy, we are in a week of prayer, right? This is what this week is all about. God will make a way is our theme, and we've been praying across our nation literally every day. So thanks for joining us, Crystal. Coach Drew, great to have you back. Um, you know, fear and anxiety is a big topic. Can I say you're an expert on it, Andrew? <laughs> yes, it's official. Is it's that official. personal or professional? It is both. Okay. It is both. I like to say I know anxiety from the inside <laughs> out. That's so good. Yeah, That's so, good. so I, I spend much of my days helping individuals, yeah. families, yeah. couples understand that, you know, what Scripture says is true. God yeah. hasn't given us the spirit of fear. Right. Yeah but a power and love and yeah. soundness of mind. So I'm glad that we're unpacking that because we are not yeah. meant to live. We can't thrive yeah. in environments that are filled with fear. I totally agree, totally agree. So yeah. I, I, I have the privilege of unpacking this with okay, you guys go. today, and I'm Take really excited. Us. So Take we're gonna just- I'm a little anxious about it. Yeah, <laughs> good, it's perfect, it's perfect, it's perfect. Well, you, we'll start with you, Crystal. Talk to Great. us a little bit about, from, from your perspective, because I know as humans, we all have felt fear, but is there any common theme that you find, it's particularly in youth and indigenous, com indigenous communities dealing with fear and anxiety? Oh, yes. I think, I think we mentioned it the other day, too, is that so, like, not just 10 children, youth, young people, not just a hundred, but, but hundreds and thousands all across our Northern communities. And the only example that I tell people is in 2017, when I moved to Saskatchewan, we were championing a, a, a conference weekend to combat suicide, specifically among the indigenous youth. And day one, you know, it was good. Day two, we asked the students if they would stand up if they were struggling with something and 400 students stood up and we were dumbfounded. So for the next hour and a half, we prayed with young people as they were processing and crying and venting their frustrations. And the counselors had said to us, what takes us two years to get to, mm. took two days because of the love of God encountering and the deep, deep parts of them. Mm -hmm. so, good. Mm -hmm. yeah, so good. Yeah. That's amazing. When we experience God's love, yes. I know the scriptures tell us that Perfect love casts out all fear. Yeah. Yes. And knowing that we're not alone is so yes. important. It's yes. powerful. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how have you experienced yeah. fear, Lori? Where do you where do you, where does it come from and how does God deal with it? With where you? does fear come from? <laughs> well, you've already said that it doesn't come from God, although fear is a normal human emotion. Hmm. Fear the emotion of fear can be helpful in our life to don't touch the hot stove. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean there, the, you, there's that helpful part of the emotion God gave us. But we're talking about when fear is overcoming you, when it's actually controlling your life. It's actually being your master. And it's already been said, I mean, the root of fear is a lack of love. Hmm. And when you don't feel loved, yes. you're afraid. And it leads to so many things. I love how you describe anxiety. I've often, maybe you need to do that. Tell us what your definition of anxiety is. Andrew. Yeah, for sure. Well. You know, there are many different factors that can contribute to individual experiences of anxiety. Yes. But a simple definition is a picture of the future that's negative. Yes. Whether it's the mm. far distant future or like in the next five minutes. If oh, I'm picturing right. something negative mm. that I'm going to experience, it registers on the screen of my mind and my body picks it up yeah. and it registers a, a, as anxiety. Because your body can't tell whether or not what's you imagine is real or not, right. Right. but it's going to start to activate and say, you get, to, you, you better take care of this, yeah. take care of yourself. And that registers as fear and anxiety for us. That wow. is so, do you know, I've thought about that so much. I, when I have gone down that path of thinking negative about a future event or what could be or whatever, that is me entering into this really, this state of anxiety. Yeah. Yeah, and when we live from that place, yeah. we are not exercising freedom, we're not exercising authority, so mm. we're living in reaction, yes. right? We're yes. living based off of reflex and we're self-protective and it informs all of our relationships. Mm. So, I mean, Bill, People watch you and they see, oh, I see the confidence and I, <laughs> and I love it. But, you know, can you remember a moment where you were dealing with fear and how God helped you? Uh, yeah, a hundred percent. Because I think fear is based in insecurity and uncertainty. You're afraid you're going to be exposed by something. So I had to make a major decision and I was very overwhelmed by it. I felt very inadequate. Um, I didn't think I was gonna be able to make the right decision. I didn't have the resources, mental, emotional, to make it. 
And so I went for a long walk and it was very dark at night. And the only way I can explain it is I actually felt, and, and, I, and this is the first time I'd ever experienced it, I actually felt God's presence. And it was almost like when you're a child and you're terrified and you go to your mother's and father's bed, the situation doesn't change, but the presence, yes. the awareness of a presence and that you don't need to be afraid, that your security is now in someone else who is greater than you. So for me, I honestly navigate it by just believing that I actually have access to a source that is greater than my circumstance. And yes, I still have the feelings of fear, but again, I, I submit those feelings to the truth of who God says I am. And so if I come across very confident, it's because I have confidence in a great God. Oh, amen, so amen, amen, so amen, amen. You know, I, I, I love it. So today we're talking about fear and anxiety, and we want you to know that we do believe in a God who can make a way. If you need help in this area, please call us. We have this great resource called God Will Make a Way. It comes with a couple of bookmarks you can also have uh, to remind yourself to pray when fear and anxiety come. And so call us today and receive that. But Coach Drew, you've been leading us in this great discussion. So yeah, keep unpacking this for us because we need to know how to solve this issue. Yeah, I, I love it. Mm. I love talking about it with families, and we'll circle back to families in a moment. But you know, when we we look at Paul, he's talking to Timothy. You know, this is not just an encouraging pep talk, mm, yeah. right? No, there is something to our divine design where we need to experience God's power, mm -hmm. his love, right, yes. and soundness of mind. Yes. So um, we often think about anxiety as, you know, individuals, but I'm curious, how do you see God's power impacting anxiety on a church level, mm. Bill? Wow, that is a great question. I, th I think our culture right now is experiencing a ton of anxiety and fear, and it's because the narrative, every time you turn on the news, every time you go to social media, if you listen to the voices nattering around you, it is all fear, fear, fear. Again, a future that may or may not exist. And so for me as a community of faith, that's why it's so important that we actually speak the truth, that truth and perfect love drives out yes. fear. And so I think for me as a pastor right now, I'm finding confidence in, in declaring truth, regardless of whether it's popular, accepted or not, declare the truth because it's the only repellent to fear. One, I, I'm on board with that 100%. Yeah. Power is all about your awareness of authority. Yes. And that is grounded in truth. Regardless yes. of what other people are saying, we have authority because yeah. God gives it to us. Guys, I'm sitting over here just being like, I need to take notes. <laughs> this is it's like hitting me. It's yeah. it's empowering me. This is yeah. this is deep. This is great. Yeah. yeah. This and this is this is what truth does, yeah. even in the face of fear. And I know we talked about in, in previous episodes this week where we're talking about belonging. That's mm -hmm. what love really is about. Mm -hmm. It's it's about yeah. significance knowing that you matter. Yes. When people are racked to the core with fear, there's this idea that they're alone yeah. and that they don't matter and they're mm -hmm. insignificant. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, Crystal, for the indigenous community, what impact do you think that sense of love and belonging will have and is having mm -hmm. on fear? This is an unfair question because now I'm in deep thought mode and I'm going, <laughs> I'm going through the repertoire of everywhere we've gone in the last 14 years. And this, this story just keeps popping up mm -hmm. in my mind when we were in a northern community in northern Quebec and we were in a high school and kids were stoned. Mm -hmm. And we just started to pray for them. Mm -hmm. And as we were praying for them, they were like not moving, but they were kind of swaying and I and I, t I said what's going on they said I feel like liquid gold is running through my body like a love yeah. and they were high yeah yeah right and so when you when you ask me about indigenous communities or just people in general when we remove that stereotype that we may have or a judgment you know man right. looks on the outward appearance mm -hmm. but God looks at the heart, heart. Yeah. And so we just said okay God for every heart for every young person how do we minister your love in the most atrocious situation, what could you do? Yeah. And for us in that moment, that's what he did, and it was wow. powerful. Yeah. Ooh, I love it. God is, yeah. he's, he's such a personal yeah. God. Yes. Like, he comes in ways that yeah. we would never mm -hmm. expect. I know, I know. And this is actually the opportunity we have as Christians to walk in that love. Thank you for mm -hmm. that story. That's it. 
We don't have to preach at people. We actually just need to love on people. So I'm just going to pray, Lord, mm. for every mm -hmm. single one of your Jesus followers, mm -hmm. yes. that he would genuinely love, love people. That as we m go about our everyday life, Lord, remove fear mm -hmm. from believers, remove fear from the church, remove mm -hmm. fear from those yes. who are followers of you, Jesus, that we would love, that we'd be so free to love people in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. And I want to add to that, Father, for those who are watching right now, who maybe, like I do from time to time, more often than I'd like to admit, are struggling with fear and anxiety. I speak the truth into that situation, that God is victorious. Yes. God is able. God has put you in a place where you can walk in his power and in his authority. So speak that truth into your life. Speak that truth into your kids. Speak that truth into your family. Speak that truth into your situation and be free in Jesus' mighty name. In mm -hmm. Jesus' mighty name. I'd like to add something too. Would you guys, as a demonstration, would you lift your hands like this to receive? And you at home, go ahead and open up your hands like this posture of receiving. And we just pray... Abba, you're a good father. That's right. We pray that you would just begin to minister healing by the power of your Holy Spirit as we just open our hands to receive from you. You're a good dad. And I pray that as we breathe in you, that we will exhale everything that has been heavy and weighty and burdensome. And Father, we just pray that scripture verse that cast all your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. So we do that now yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen, amen, mm. amen. And you know, Father, one more prayer. Hmm. We thank you for anticipating your arrival, hmm. anticipating your good work. Yes. This gives us soundness of mind. We look forward to all that you will do. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.